Hi there. This video is going to talk about, or I'm going to talk about, uh, how to find the equation of the median, we're going to talk about what that means, of the side of a triangle given three vertices. So we have three vertices and we can plot those right away. In fact, let's do that right now before we start talking about what a median is, because it'll be easier once we plot these. So negative six, negative three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, there we go, and that's at, that's S. Negative six, negative three, negative six, negative three, there we go. And it's weird why that's black when I used blue ink. Interesting. There we go, now it's blue again. Okay, and then the next one is five, four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. And that is T. And then let's plot this one. Seven, negative four. One, two, three, four. So u is seven, negative four. Okay, I'm going to connect these with a straight line, and I, luckily I'm on a computer, so I can choose a straight line option. Much straighter than my normal lines, if I was to try and draw them. Now, what are we supposed to do again? What's the purpose of this video? <laughs> um, it says, find the equation of the median from S. Okay, so here is S. This is an angle. Now, a median is when you go from this vertex right here, okay? You go from this point right here, and you go to the other side, to the side that is opposite this angle, so this side right here, but it has to be the exact middle of this line. That is what a median is. It's when it goes from one angle to the middle of one line. So what we're going to do is find this point. It's called the midpoint between here and here. And if we can find the midpoint, um, we'll, we'll, we'll plot that point right there. And then we'll come up with an equation of this median. Okay? So let's do that. To find the, the midpoint between two points, all you have to do is add up the x values, so you take x1 plus x2, and cut it in half, because we're looking for the middle. Do the same thing with the y values, y1 plus y2, and cut it in half by dividing by 2. So let's just look. Here we have the x value of 5, here we have the x value of 7. If we add those up, we get 12, and 12 divided by 2 happens to be 6. Okay. And over here, we have 4 plus negative 4, which gives us 0. And 0, cut in half, when you cut 0 in half, you still end up with 0. So I'm going to plot that point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just like we might have guessed. This is the middle between 5, 4 and 7, negative 4. The middle is 6, 0, right there, 6, 0. So, Let's erase that so that we have more room to write, because we have more work to do here. Our work is not done. All right. At this point, I'm going to draw a straight line, just so you can visualize what we're talking about. We need an equation of a line that goes right from this point right here, this vertice of S, all the way to the middle of this line right here. We need the equation of this line. And we could guess right now, we can guess what the slope is of this line. And we could guess what the y-intercept is right here. But we're not supposed to just guess. We're supposed to come up with the actual, you know, actual equation. So remember, an equation of a straight line is going to look like this form right here, y equals mx plus b. And in, uh, in this part of Canada, um, this is learned in grade 9, where you learn about the equation of a line. And this is it, where the slope is this m part right here. That would be the slope. And over here, this B part, that would be the y-intercept. So what we're going to do is try and find the slope and the y-intercept, and then we're done. So let's start with the slope of this line. Well, the slope, you could just count it. You could literally just count squares and go 1, 2, 3. The rise is 3, and the run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's 3 over 12. The slope seems to be, or m, seems to be 3 over 12, and if we reduce that, it'd be a quarter. Divide each of these by 3, 1 over 4. 
Let's see if we get that answer using this formula. Okay? To find the slope, we're going to verify it here. You take the y values and subtract them. So some people say y2 minus y1. And on the bottom, you take the x values and you subtract them. Of course, I have videos on how to do all this stuff, but I have to assume you already know this with this video. Otherwise, it would take forever to explain it all. So let's subtract the y values. We've got 0 minus negative 3. Well, 0 minus negative 3 will give us positive 3. Looks familiar, doesn't it? And x2 minus x1. So x, which is 6, minus negative 6 is actually 12. Doesn't that look familiar? We just did that. Reduce it, you get a quarter. Okay, so this is great. We've just verified that the slope of this line is one quarter. So I'm going to erase that. Sorry, my throat's getting a little sore here. I'm doing too many videos today. <laughs> so this is a quarter. Now, the other thing we do need is the y-intercept. And this part's a little trickier. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> there we go. If we can pick one point on this line, I'm going to pick the 6 and the 0, and I'm going to substitute those, <clears throat> the 6 and the 0, right into the y and the x. And I'm going to clear my throat properly. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you can hear me better now. I'm going to use this, this point, 6, 0. Notice this is the x value, and over here is the y value. I'm going to substitute them into here, where the y and the x are. I'm going to substitute the slope, where the m is, and we're going to have everything we need so that we can figure out what b is, b being the y-intercept. So let's do that right now. The y value is 0. So I'm instead of y, I'm writing 0 because there's a 0 right here. The slope is a quarter. And I'm putting a bracket around it so I can show that we're multiplying by the x value, which is 6. I'll put brackets around that too, if you like. All right, now all we have to do is multiply a quarter times 6, which would be 6 over 4. If we reduce that, that would be, if we were to reduce this, it would be 3 over 2. Okay, now all we have to do is bring the 3 over 2 over to the other side. We're moving the whole thing over, so we just subtract 3 over 2 from both sides. We're left with negative 3 over 2 because 0 minus 3 over 2 is just negative 3 over 2. So now we know the y-intercept is negative 3 over 2, which is also, you know, if you change that into a decimal, negative 3 over 2 would be negative 1.5, which actually matches 1.5. It's about right here. I would say this pink line that we've drawn it's pretty accurate. Okay, so the, the final equation, and let's just finish this video off by showing that the final equation is going to be the slope, which we said was a quarter. Then there's the x beside that. And then the y-intercept we found to be negative 3 over 2. This is the answer that they were asking us to find. And if you're lucky in your math class, you won't have a bunch of fractions here. You will have maybe whole numbers. But sometimes this happens, so hey, it doesn't hurt. At least you have the idea of how you would solve a question like this. We talked about what a median is, so hopefully that word isn't so confusing anymore. A median is just the middle of a line opposite the vertices. So if you were to find the median of this side, it would be right around here, and we would draw it to this. <laughs> Sorry, my lines are obviously not very straight. And this one would be right here. And uh, anyway, there's another video that I will have to make that will say what this is called. It has a special name when you connect all the medians from each side. But that is for another video. I hope you join me on that one as well. Way to go for listening this far. And good luck out there. Take care.